everyone, this is Amanda. Thank you for joining me today. This is the first video in my Bible journaling experience um, where I actually dig into the Bible that I chose to use for Bible journaling and the book that I've used that I'm going to use to kind of help me get some ideas on how to do it and how to do it better. So I thought um, you might enjoy seeing the Bible that I chose and this book and then as I go along, maybe we'll do some Bible journaling together. So my last video was um, detailing this uh, Bible journaling starter kit from that I purchased from Amazon. And it's really cool. It's by Illustrated Faith. And it really kind of gives an assortment of ideas on how you can do Bible journaling. But I wanted to go a little bit deeper. Um, number one, I wanted to get a special Bible to use just for this because this is going to be like a personal devotional time for me. So it means whatever I put on these pages is going to be very personal. It doesn't mean I'm not going to take it anywhere because I could take it to church or um, Bible study, etc. But I also have, you know, I have several different Bibles and this one I wanted specifically for this reason um, for Bible journaling. So I went and I did some research on what was the best um, Bible journal to get or the best Bible to get for journaling. I had specific things in mind that I wanted and um, first of all I wanted to have a margin on the side so that I could draw stuff and um, write journal thoughts, feelings, things like that, sermon notes, and then also be able to um, put, some, put down some art. So this is what I chose. I got the Inspire Bible. It's the Bible for creative journaling. And I wanna show this to you because it is so cool. You can see it comes in this cool looking box already. It's decorated with the bird and butterflies, something that I totally love. It's got this cool little um, kind of crafty look to it. The spine says Inspire the Bible for creative journaling. And then it's a New Living Testament, or, I'm sorry, New Living Transa Translation, and it's all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true, 2 Timothy 3.16. So in this Bible, it features single column settings, black letter text, two inch wide ruled margins with space for personal reflections. 400 design scripture verses that can be colored and um, generous 8.65 font. So it's not minuscule to read. And I think once you see this Bible, you will see what I mean, why I'm liking it. So this is what it looks like once you take it out of the box. It has a band to keep it closed, which is so nice because once you start putting stuff on the inside, it's going to get thick. This is the spine. I have to tell you that this it's not leather obviously it's not leather but it has such a nice texture to it it's almost like um it's very soft almost suede feeling but it's not suede so um and then on the spine it has it's decorated in flowers and butterflies and it's on all sides so you have it there and there so now let's dig into the front and just look at how glorious this is. I mean, this is just speaking, I want to color you. <laughs> I mean, it is just gorgeous. And this allows for all different types of coloring. It says, in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God, John 1.1. 1, 1. So there's that. And then all these pages, like this bird, it's just, it's beautiful. You can put two from date if you give it as a gift and then all these pages you can color on the inside and it's just beautiful so now I want to kind of get into um, some of the um, other pages so you have a list of the Old Testament the New Testament and the alphabetical listing of the Bible now what I like about this is this allows you to add a little bit of color and still have your um, books of the Bible um, available um, and I, I mean, I just think that's really cool. You can color that in. And in fact, I think I brought some Tombow markers with me today that we, I might start that a little bit. And, um, 
the translation team, and then we get into the Old Testament. And I know that this, this style might not be for everybody because it depends on what type of um, Bible journaling you want to do. Some people will want to just cover the whole page, you know, with um, watercolors or paints or markers or whatever, or draw um, designs. And others like to have what, um, you know, already pre-printed, um, like a coloring book. And I wanted to have a little bit of both because I wanted to be able to start with something like this, but then have like blank pages that I could also do my own designs on. And I'm going to flip through some of these so that you can see what's available. Because if you take this side, you have a place where you can color and be creative. And then over here, you have lines where you can do journaling and thoughts and feelings and things like that. Or if you don't want to be you know, expand on your own creativity. And there's so many nice um, drawings and things in here to color. And I just think it it's really gonna work well for me, especially because I can go to a specific passage and then I can, you know, as I'm coloring it and, and stuff like that, I can be thinking about what I read. So if you go to Galatians, which is one of my very favorite parts of the Bible, or, you know, chapters of the Bible, it's one of my favorites, and you have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, kindness, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, Galatians 5, 22 and 23, it is um, one of my very favorite verses, and it's, you know, it gives you a nice place to color. And then if I want to write down why it's my favorite, I, this just allows me to make it really, really personable. Um, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And um, I just, I really like this. I think it is, I don't know. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it, but it's also going to be very helpful to me to, um, to grow spiritually. The other part I wanted to look at is maybe um, Psalms or Proverbs and see what's available here. Um, he alone is my refuge, my place of safety. That's cute with the house. I've got joy written here. And you know, I bet you could even like scan that on the computer, like photocopy it and make copies of it before you um, did anything with it. I bet that'd be cute. Um, forgiven. That's cute. So there's all kinds of, um, things in here you can do. And there's plenty that are already pre pre done for you and plenty of room where you can experiment and do your own or make notes. So I think this is going to be really good for me. So anyway, I'm really excited with the Bible. I think this is going to be really cool. And since I bought something that has a lot of the pre-printed designs and stuff to color. I also wanted to buy something to help me be a little more creative in it as well because this is very stamped and it's not the only Bible out there. You can get them that are not stamped as, as, also as well. So um, let me show you the book that I bought to kind of inspire me and get me creative. This is the Complete Guide to Bible Journaling and it's Creative Techniques to Express Your Faith by Joanne Fink and Regina Yoder. If you know, I'm familiar with Joanne Fink, if you're not. She does a lot of dangles and zentangles and things like that. And um, so I really like her style. And this book um, is very, very cool. And I won't go through everything, but I wanted to show you, it tells you how to begin. It tells you supplies, tools, techniques, different stuff like that, little doodles. It tells you how to make um, the dangles and zentangles, tracing, all kinds of stuff. Um, you can do blending and stamping. She puts gesso down, I think, a lot. But what I really wanted to show you were some of the pictures um, because I just think they were very inspiring. And so... This, and then it gives some personal profiles of people who do a lot of Bible journaling. But take a look at this. Can you believe this? This is just gorgeous. And I just think it's just beautiful. Even scary things can be good. 
and that's just great and you've got this says God's anointed cannot fail where they drew a bird here you've got some creative lettering and just I mean like this covers the whole page and it's like this huge wave so these are very very inspiring and I'll just flip through this really quick and you can get a sense of different people's style for Bible journaling so that one's really cute that one has a lot of words on it that looks like a card almost so like that's cute singing to God I love these and I don't know that um, I'm kind of wondering if maybe these are okay this okay this that makes sense this says outside of the Bible because I was thinking this does not look like it's on the Bible so these are outside of the Bible so let's look um, some inside the Bible this is inside the Bible yeah so this I wanted to because I wanted to see what's but look at this how the letters and the drawing the grass at the bottom these are just really really cute very very inspiring I love the ones that are full of color I just would be so scared maybe I'll get there to where I can do that myself that one's really interesting and it looks like it looks almost like Psalms where it's um, like a verse and then they decorate it all along the sides that's interesting and I could see where I could use my illustrated faith stuff my washi tape and my paints and things like that that I just got I can use that and some rubber stamps for my American crafts and my stencils as well so I really and I thought this book was so inspiring I love Joanne Fink anyway that's really really cool look at that it's like an old city on a page in Matthew so that says no fear I like this one that's cute this is called line work which I don't know what that means but it's cute that one's really nice it reminds me of like an illustrated Bible, you know, like like a child's Bible where you have all the pictures and things. It kind of reminds me of that. That's cute. Created me a clean heart with the clothesline with the hearts. Come Lord Jesus. And then that's Joanna Fink or Joanne Fink and Regina Yoder. And then you've got your index. And then back here is a bonus section. So you have little um, things that you can cut out or trace to put in your Bible. Um, it, she shows you how to make certain lettering. That's nice. You can even cut this out or scan it. Little doodles. I'm so going to use this. Maybe even in my bullet journal, not just in my Bible journaling. More little um, doodles. I love the birds and the turtles. Those are cute. Look at the sheep or the lamb. You've got space and some more um, words. That's nice. You know, it's kind of intimidating to me because I'm not sure I can do this, but I'm going to give it a good try. That's really interesting. Uh, so lamppost, illuminate. Those are cute light bulbs and then back here you have these look these are stickers faith pray more worry less I need to do that all the time um, more letters so you can make words I'm really pleased with this book oh this these are um, long stickers look at that you've got that one and then these like border stickers these are really cool so I'm pretty happy with this these are tabs um oh wait a minute are these tabs these are tabs okay so I won't have to make my own I can um, use them right from here and put them in my Bible oh that's awesome but I don't know that this is all of them. where's the New Testament there they go all right we got them all you got Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, the last three. Okay, this is perfect. Love it. 
And then look at this, we've got some transparencies. So this is an awesome deal. I am so happy about this. So um, I also, before I close out this video, I brought out some um, Tombow markers and some Illustrated Faith Bible, no, this is American Crafts Bible Journaling pens. And I kind of wanted to try them. So let's see, where did we, okay, let's try, actually, before I do this, let's just try something small as an example. So let's go with this Tombow. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like using the Tombow markers. And you can see there's, I, I'm pretty heavy handed with that on purpose because I wanted to see what it looked like. And there's very little shadowing behind it. So that's, that's nice. And granted, this is a little, gonna be a little thicker than these other pages. But I think if you use, um, I think if you use watercolors or something a little bit lighter, it might work better. I don't know. So let's try, since we tried that, um, the Tombow, let's try these Bible journaling ones from American Crafts and see what they do. Let's see, that's blue. I don't want it blue. Um, actually, I will do blue. We'll do a little bit of this in blue. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the American Crafts. I will tell you, um, the American Crafts, it went on pretty smooth, but I think you can see a difference between the coloring techniques of the Tombow compared to just like the smoothness of the Tombow to the American Crafts um, Bible journaling ones. Um, but I think either one are good. These, um, these are from Michaels. They are part of the um, American Crafts Bible journaling line. And um, they're one of the things I really like from the Bible journaling line. So I would just want to try this one thing here because it looked like it wasn't on all the way, the cap. It doesn't look like it fit all the way on. See how that shows black there? And it doesn't go on any further. I think it came like that. So, um, and it's obviously dried out because it didn't show up anything. But these are American Crafts. They're water-based um, Bible journaling markers. And this is the set I got. I think there's multiple sets. And I can try to link these to the Michael's site, website in case you can't, um, in case you can't, don't find them at your Michael's. If you want to try these, I'll link them to the, I'll put a link below for the Michael's. Um, to see if they still have them online. Sometimes they go in and out of um, availability at Michael's, but um, they usually come back. And if you get one with bum like this, return it and get it again. Anyway, this is my, my start off to my Bible journaling. And um, I'll be sure to share with you on a regular basis the status of my journey. Um, I don't know how often I'll do a video yet on it. Um, obviously I would love to do it every week, but it looks to me like it's going, you know, this would be a lot of in-depth reading and coloring and stuff like that. So I'll get into it and then see how it goes. Anyway, thank you for joining me on my, um, first Bible journaling step. And I'm excited to dig into this and I can't wait to share some of my other, um, drawings or coloring and things like that are experiences with you and for sure if I find other Bible journaling products out there I will let you know because I'm always on the hunt for new stuff I love buying new things and experimenting with it and um, and I'll be sure to um, let you know what I find because my next haul video for Bible journaling haul is from different places so 
and it, from different companies. It's not all illustrated of faith. Actually, I don't know if any of it's illustrated faith. I'm thinking, and I don't know that any of it is. I think it's a couple different things. So anyway, tune in for that one. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And in the comments, let me know how you're by, if you are a Bible journaly, journaler, how you got started and how you feel about it now. Thanks a lot, guys.